I'm Miranda Esmond White. Thank you for joining me for a classical stretch workout in Montego Bay, Jamaica. Now this is a full body stretching. So we're gonna start with the legs, stretching and warming up those Achilles tendons, those Achilles tendons, calves, ankles, feet. Shift your hips, get into those hips. Now start focusing on your ribs, stretch the ribs, bending your elbows. So when you bend them, that's stretching them. Bending your elbows, slowly reaching the arms up, bending your elbows, keep swaying, dig deep into those plies. Get right up over your head, feel it pulling on your ribs as you sway, sweep down. Okay, one arm, and down you go, down. And down you go, and up, and down, and up. Change arms, down, and up, and down. So you're working your spine and down, and down. Now start getting more energy. And, and a one, two, big circle, circle. And a one, small two, big circle on three. One, and a two, big circle. One, and two, big circle. Change arms. One, and two, big circle. And two, let those ribs get stretched. One and two, big circle. The one, two, big circle, diagonal. One, two, big circle. Swing, two swings, big stretch. One, two, big stretch. Big stretch, other arm. One, two, big stretch. One, two, big stretch. Two. No, one, two, big circle. Both arms. Go the other way. Around and around. Isn't that fun? I love doing sort of silly things like that for a warm up. Okay, so bend your knees. Now we want to work on the spine always when you do a stretch, when you do a full body stretch, you have to stretch all 360 joints. And there are so many joints in your torso. So you want to start with your head hanging. Let the, the vertebra in your neck get a stretch just by pulling the head, just by dropping the head and let it hang. It stretches the neck. So you're going to just sway. Now start moving. Focusing on your rib cage. So you want to lift your elbow and you feel the ribs. I don't know if you can hear that, but there's some crazy bird in the background. And lift it up. And lift it up. So you can feel the stretch right through your trunk, right through your torso. So now we're going to start. Just embrace yourself. Start low down. So you're going to wrap your arms around your body and the pulling of the arms around your body are going to pull right through all the muscles of your back. So just shift, shift, shift around as much as you can with those arms wrapping around your body. Now slowly raise the arms up. And what we're doing here is we're working through different groups of muscle in the torso. So these are a little like you can put a little emotional in, uh, emotion into it to feel, because it's embracing yourself. So you can feel a little self-comfort here. And stretch out those shoulder blades and stretch. Now we're going to go deep into the full back. Reach out, pull that arm. Now, you've got literally hundreds of muscles that we're going through in your back. So it goes slow enough and pull that arm so you can feel them rippling through your back. 
That's why when you go slowly, you're really lengthening the muscles. You've got time to let them pop out into the greatest length away from the socket as possible. Right around. Okay, do it again. So you first, before you start going in a rotation, you finalize your maximum stretch. Then you move through your back, through your torso, slowly. And then you lock your body in front as you pull that arm behind you. Last one, down, reaching, pulling. And feel that grandeur of the sweeping up to the sky as you're pulling your body, opening, liberating your body. It'll feel wonderful. Good, good, good. Okay, cut the air. And cut the air. And cut the air. And cut the air. And cut the air. Okay, good. Now you're gonna cut the air. You're gonna go right down, deep into this, into this hip. Lift your arm up, feel the pull through your ribs, sweep it around, lift your back heel and sweep, twist on your spine and back and cut the air. Look underneath. Okay, you're gonna feel that in the ribs, twist it around and you're gonna feel the ribs getting twisted which is what you want. These are basic exercises that you need to be able to move your body so you can get out of a car, off a chair, out of bed. Elbow up, twist around, twist, lifting that back heel, twist around. And you'll be grateful that you did that twist next time you get out of the car and you forgot that once it was difficult to get out of a car. Twist. And around into the other side. Lift the other heel and feel the spine being rotated, bending the back knee. Okay. Mobility is all we need to feel young and vibrant. Mobility is what gives us flexibility. So put one foot in front. We don't need to be aiming to win an Olympics. All we need to be able to do is use our 650 joints, which brings me to my toes. Just move those toes up and down. Wiggle your toes. Just wiggle them. Flex your foot. Put it down. Flex. Down. Flex. Now point it. Point. Point. Change your feet. Just move your toes all by themselves. So many people can't move their toes. They have become part of the foot, like one big block. They're not supposed to be that way. Toes send messages to your brain, important messages. They also keep you on balance. They help you move around like a steering wheel. If those toes can't move, you're suddenly aged. The moment you get your toes moving again, you're gonna feel younger, okay? So work on the joints of your toes all the time. Watching TV, cooking, at work, kick your shoes up and just get used to wiggling your toes and up. Okay, so now we're gonna put the other leg in front, flex your foot, cut at the hips, shift your weight. So these are all mobility and stretching. Two different things. Shift your hips, shift your hips, change over. Stretching means you're gonna get looser muscles and mobility means you're gonna be able to use your joints. That's your toes and your ankles. Okay. So here we go, feet apart. Pulling up out of your body. So don't uh, sink down and do the plies. Pull up, take the weight out of your body. Bend those knees. Okay, force your legs out. Down, force your legs out and come up. Breathe with it. Deep breathe because these are deep 
stretches, stretching the quadricep muscles. They're stretching your glute muscles. Don't make a squat out of them or you lose the flexibility benefits. If you squat, you're gonna lose all that nice stretch in the hips that helps you move. Your hips are a joint and you wanna move that joint. So down you go, plies are incredibly good for knees, hips and spine. But you have to do them right. And these are Tai Chi plies because of the width. Okay, now you're gonna take your hands. Just rub your hands, one's going up to the ceiling. And then when you straighten your legs, you're gonna just bring your hands into the center. So you find the center and you just stretch out. Right up, 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 reach those arms. And when you get to the center, again, bend those knees, forcing the legs out, not the feet, the legs from here, push out, not your feet and in. Now, plies are some people's favorite exercise once they figure out how good they are for them. But a lot of people find them hard work. As long as they're not painful hard work, then they should be one of your favorite exercises. So you're going to lift, pull one arm in, pull the other arm in. Forward, forward. Pull it in, using those legs the whole time. Every time you bend and straighten your knees just a bit, that's stretching out the knee. What we're stretching in the knee is the quad muscle and the shin, which is below. Okay, press down, press down, and down. Just shift your hips over. Shift your hips over. Now we're gonna do that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In, in, down, down. Do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In, in, down, down, up. Last time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep going, keep going, keep going. We're not finished yet. And up. Okay, good job. Just kick out the tension in your thighs. Back into a nice wide lunge, standing flat on the soles of your feet. So this is to strengthen your core. It's a fantastic exercise. So you're going to just bend over and make sure that when you do this, that you don't lift your hip as you bend. So as you bend, you push the hip down. So you're stretching that direction down, this direction up. Okay, lift your arm up over your head and lift the other one now. So don't lift this hip. Over you go. And up. Reach to the ceiling. So this is pulling your spine, using your arm as equipment to stretch the spine, using relaxation as the new strengthening to reach as far away as you can in all these movements, okay? So you're gonna reach up rather than just move from here. Reach, whoops, and over you go, down. Standing on the soles of your feet, and that won't happen, what just happened to me. Down you go. In, twist, reach. Twist, let it go. So remember, relaxing is the new strengthening, so relax into it. Then your body has to lift, your muscles have to lift a bigger stretch. One more. See how much harder you make it for your muscles to lift you? You're this big, big mass massive muscles and bones. Reach it, see, so relax into it. Reach into it. Reach into it. Okay, now, one, reach far. Two, three, let them go. So that then your side muscles have to move you as you relax, as you relax, Further, it's going to strengthen your muscles in lengthened positions, diagonal. 
diagonal. Diagonal. Okay. So as you do big lunges, you're having to really strengthen those, the spine, the whole glutes, your thighs, everything. So now find yourself a chair and we're gonna do some bar work. So I hope you found yourself a good solid chair. I particularly like this one. A, it's heavy and it's got a high back and a wide back. So look for something that you can really use as a, that's not gonna interfere with you. You need a solid chair so that you won't fall off balance. So these are to stretch the shins and stretch your calves. They're also to strengthen the ankles and rebuild the crimp on your connective tissue. So these things are phenomenally important. So lift your heels as high as you can, staying in clean alignment, sink as deeply as you can when you bend your knees. So don't go halfway, don't go half up, go all the way up, drop down, put your heels down, bend the knees as much as you can without lifting the heel. So we're gonna go one foot at a time, bend that knee, straighten the knee, and then using the power of your foot to lift up that heel. It's, that means your heel, those muscles all around your heel are lifting your full body's weight all by themselves. Don't use the arm, don't use the chair. Just make your feet do that and it's really gonna strengthen your ankles and rebuild any deformation, whoops, any deformation in the crimp. So these, because they're nice and slow, they're nice and safe because you're holding on and down. One more, up and down. Now what you're gonna do is keeping the knee straight, drop lift, drop lift, and drop lift. And then you're gonna go one foot at a time. Drop your heel, lift it, drop lift, and drop lift. The other foot, heel up, heel up, heel up and just shake the legs out, a little stretch on your calves, and we're done. Okay, so stand on one side of your chair, slightly behind it so that you're not beside it. You're gonna just swing the leg in the socket, the ball and socket. Don't swing the body, just the leg. Okay, now we're gonna swing the knee behind, across. All this is to clean out the tension, any debris in your hip socket and the tension in your bum. Okay, so now just stay there. You're gonna put your heel on the ground, tuck your tailbone under, and push the heel into the ground and you'll feel a stretch here. That's called your psoas, and that's feeding in and stretching your lower spine. Now just take your quad, take your ankle. Some people can't reach their ankle. So if you can't reach it, get a TheraBand or a towel and wrap it around your ankle so you can pull it. So let's change sides. So standing slightly behind your chair, outside leg, just easily swing your leg like a pendulum in an old grandfather clock. Only the pendulum moves, not the whole clock. Now a hip cleaner, you can bend the leg you're standing on if you want. So that'll loosen up the hip. hip. <laughs> and now you're going to lift your toe, bend your knee, tuck under, pushing the heel forward, drop the heel down to feel the psoas getting a stretch. And then you might want to grab a TheraBand or a towel, grab your ankle, Push the hips down, try to put your two knees together and pull that heel into your bum and you'll get a wonderful quad stretch. So now shake out, use the other leg. You're going to lift the leg that's nearer the, uh, your television set. So you're gonna lift it up. Make sure that your foot is either in the center or a little further over. Don't have it right on the edge there. Now, some people have difficulty, most people have difficulty straightening their knee. So that's okay because the hamstring is here and if your hamstring is tight, it'll prevent you from straightening your knee. So what we're gonna do is work on that. We're stretching the hamstring. 
So knead it like dough. Bend the knee, pull the bum back. Shift your, whips, <laughs> your hips forward and just drop back and try to straighten the knee. When we're doing stretches, one of the most important things that you have to remember is not to jerk your body. Because when you jerk your body, the body thinks something might, there, there's danger, something might be bad happening. So your body will seize up and you won't be able to stretch those muscles. So that's why these movements are so smooth. Rock forward and just gently rock back, it doesn't matter. And you'll notice how fast that hamstring changes and you're gonna be much looser right now than you were when you started just a couple of 30 seconds ago. Flex your foot, point your foot, keeping your back straight, flex your foot, point your foot, move your hips, just move them around and you're gonna get your IT band, your long adductor. So shift around to get different parts of the inner and outer thigh. Okay, let's change legs. You're gonna feel great. You're gonna be able to move much more fluidly for the rest of the day. Other foot up. So you're doing the same thing now. Don't forget, you might have your knee bent even though mine's straight. And this is quite a low chair. So that's excellent. If you're tight, the lower the chair, the better for you. Okay, so shift around. Now we're going to just gently go forward and back. Breathing deeply with every shift. So you're going to breathe in. And when you exhale, try to almost visualize thousands of tubular muscles popping out and loosening. So just let the air get into them. Forward and back and forward and back. And I hope you had a good workout. Keep stretching if you want. Flex your foot. Do these exercises every day and you're gonna completely change your mobility and how easily you move.